What's up, welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to get to it back to another one of our Back to Basics episode. And this is kind of a more advanced Back to Basics. What we're going to be talking about today is a little bit of open root welding. Now, if you're new to welding, you don't know what I'm talking about. Open root welding is where we're going to weld two pieces of metal together, but they are not going to be touching. There's going to be a gap between them. And we're going to have to fill that gap. Now probably the easiest way to do that is the MIG process. But what we're going to be talking about today is doing it with the stick process using a 6011 rod. Generally you want to do this with the 6010 rod, but I have an inverter and inverters don't like 6010 rods. So we're going to do it with the 6011 rod to lay in that root pass. Then we'll fill it and cap it with a low high 7018. So let me show you how we're going to set this up and then we'll get right into it. Two, one. Okay, folks, what we've got here are two pieces of 3 8 inch 1018 mild steel. They've been beveled and they have a 330 second land on them. Here we have a 330 second welding rod. I'm just using aluminum because it's soft and easy to bend. And the way we're going to put these together to tack them is we're going to flip it over. We're going to stick that bad boy in there like that. And that way we've got our 330 second gap. Now I didn't cut this piece very well so there's a little uh, extra gap we'll call it right down there. We're not going to worry about that. I'll deal with that. If you're welding for a living man you're going to deal with shit like that all the time. So let me tack that up and we'll be right back. Well hey guys here's a little interesting fact I want to share with you. You can see I've got it all tacked up here and I'm using the AHP TIG 200 and here's what I found out. When I switch this thing over to DCEP to do my tacking, flip the switch from uh, TIG to stick, what I found out was I did not disconnect the foot pedal and all of a sudden I couldn't get a decent arc. Well guess what, if you're going to stick weld you need to disconnect the foot pedal. So now we all know that. Alright, we are ready to lay in our root pass. Like I said, we're going to be using the 6011. You can see that 6011 there. And we're going to start here. We're going to be moving in this direction and we're going to be doing the whip and pause. So what's going to happen is we're going to strike the arc. Try to hold this in the right position here. We're going to let it burn through the back. And then we're going to whip out so that the puddle cools and then come back and we're going to continue that motion we're basically going to let it burn through and then whip out so that the puddle cools and solidifies and then we'll be back and what's happening is we are welding the back side of this from the front side and then once that's done i'll flip it over and show you and we should have a nice back side coverage all right let's do it Now do you hear that sound? Do you hear how it's different than like a regular 7018? You hear it kind of that sound is good. That means that we're burning through, we're getting through to the backside, and you see how we've kind of opened up a little hole here? That's called our keyhole. Again, that is very good. That 
keyhole is important. Let's flip her over and give you a view of the back side and we'll see how that weld came out. All right, there's the back side of our weld. You can see we have a little reinforcement, but not much. No gaps, no holes. So we've got a solid root pass in there. Now, all we need to do is get our 7018s our low high rods and weld this puppy up. Alright guys, we're all set here ready for our what you call the hot pass. We're going to be running stringers. We are at 85 amps. This is a um, 330 second 7018. We're running DCEP and it's going to be basically a straight drag so let's do it And that, friends, is all she wrote. Open root, 6011 root, 7018 cover and fill from the flat position. That's your back to basics. Thanks for joining me. If there's anything else you'd like to see, leave it in the comments or email me at tigmaniac at gmail.com. If not, get the hell out of my shop.